Hi guys, Wester here. Just out doing a bit of a review on the Lawrence Ghost. Stay tuned as I go through a lot of the features and a lot of the things that I've found being useful for me in my style of fishing through this video. We're going to do a bit of a review on the Ghost here on the foot pedal. Um, I found that the foot pedal is super responsive. I've had a fair few different motors. I've had um, three different brands of cable steer. I've had um, two brands of electric steer. So by using both, you sort of get, you know, the, the good sides of things and bad sides of things from both different motors. Um, so with this motor here, it's the foot pedal is super responsive as you expect from like a cable steer type of motor. Um, but yet, it doesn't have so much weight under your foot. So when you're used to using a, a cable steer bow mount, you normally have a lot of weight under your foot because it's the cables that are steering it. With this steering here, it's like a digi steer in the head. So it still has a little bit of tension on the foot pedal, but it's not as noticeable. So it, it allows you to move your foot quite fast, backwards and forwards, which turns the head super quick. So if you're driving into like a snag or something to get your lure off, you can quickly put your foot down and like push real hard down on the pedal and the pulse button at the same time it won't throw you sideways it'll actually pull you away from it that's how fast the head of this turns as i'll show on a little video underwater as well as my foot on the pedal you'll see how responsive the foot pedal is and i find it to be super good especially fishing a place like this where it's heavy structure lots of timber you're going in you're coming out you want to steer the fish away from the snag itself um, so it gives you the the ability to do all that with this sensitive foot pedal and also a good function with the foot pedal is, if you're used to the pulse button, button being on this side, you can actually take this off and put it onto that side. So if you're used to your motors being with the pulse on that side, or you're a different foot, you can. You have the ability to change it, which is really good function with these foot pedals, so you can adjust it to how you want. Obviously you've got these, um, these keypads here, the key buttons. So I've gone through a little bit of a video on setting up these key pads and key buttons on your foot pedal. So I'll have that link in the comments or I'll have the link up on the screen. But it's great. That's pretty standard with the spot lock. You can just push that and it'll keep your spot locked here. Um, and then you can go back to your sounder if you have it hooked to your sounder and you can jog left, right, up or down, which is a great function as well. I've set this up as a waypoint marker. So if I'm fishing and I see fish on the sand or there's some structure or something like that I can hit that and I'll actually send a waypoint to my sounder for later on if I need to come back to it or if it's extremely windy I can actually go fish fish the rest of the flat or the creek or whatever I'm fishing and then I can send the electric motor back to the waypoint to anchor up so it's a great function I have a course lock which is just going to keep it straight and a heading lock which is like autopilot okay so they're the features that I have set up on my keypads on this Another thing you'll have to remember if you buy the Lawrence Ghost and you don't have the NEMA 2000 network, you'll have to purchase a starter kit if you want your Ghost to be paired up with the sounder. So come and have a look on here. When you open up pages, you have the autopilot section there, and this is the controls and things you can do with your Lawrence when it's networked. So you've got anchor, so we'll just hit anchor, and you can see, you know, waypoints. Anchor here, we're going to anchor here. Then it gives you this option, you know, you can jog forward, left or right. Now, you don't have to use that because when you go into, say, just a standard page, you have the control panel that's on the side. Now, if you need to know how to get that control panel on the side, you can jump on my YouTube channel and there's directions on how to actually get that control panel on the side of your sounder on any page or any screen. So, yep, you've got your jog keys there, up, down, left, the right. They work really well. I find these so handy um, when you're fishing flats and, and you're moving away, away from fish. or well, the fish are moving around and stuff like that. All you need to do is you're just pushing left and right, left or right, and you can see it moves the smallest little amount, which is great. So you can really fine tune where you want your spot lock to sit. 
It's another little great feature that has they have with this motor. So here we are on course lock mode. As you can see, we're cruising along quite nicely. It's a pretty cool function. You can steer from your sounder if you've got the NEMA 2000 network connected with the Ghost. So you can just steer left and right. That's prop, propulsion, and then we're at 90% speed, and you can go up or down to change the speed. And this is just the pause button. You can also steer with the remote at the same time. We'll turn the motor very slightly. It won't be a fast turn. So we'll just see if we can see it. But I'm just gonna turn left for a second. So it's just slowly turning left. And then it'll correct itself because it's on course. We just turn it right for a little bit. So those adjustments are very small adjustments with the steering, same with the remote. So if I do it with the remote as well, there you go, you can just see it's turning just a little bit, so it's very small adjustments when you're steering, not like when you're on the foot pedal and it turns very quickly. Alright guys, it's another little function that I found super good with this bow mount electric motor from Lowrance, is when you pull this up, you'll notice that it corrects itself. So when it stows away, it stows away nice. You don't have to try and muck around with the foot pedal. So if I turn it the other way, okay, I'm gonna have to turn a little bit further. So when I turn it the other way, you'll notice, it doesn't matter which side it is on, it'll adjust itself to be at right, at like adjacent to your stowing point. So you don't have to play around with your foot pedal. It's so easy, and it just clicks in. So it's so easy. And as you pull it up, it'll fix itself up as well. So just another little function that I found really good with the Serenance Ghost than the other motors that I've used. Just another thing I've noticed with the Lorance Ghost that's a little bit different to the other electric motors out there is on your remote. Normally, when you're on anchor lock or spot lock or whatever you want to call it, it normally indicates on the LCD screen on at what number or what percentage the motor is using when it's on spot lock. With the Ghost, I've noticed it doesn't have that. There's no LCD screen on the remote itself. And even when you look at the sounder, when you look at the sounder, there's your control panel for the anchor lock. It doesn't show any percentage or what number it's using. So I found that's a little bit different to the motors that I've used before. Um, the other brands normally have like a percentage or a number on correlating to what your foot pedal would be if it was activated. So that's just one thing I've noticed a little bit different about the Ghost. Another thing that's a little bit different, on the head of the electric motor, the directional thing, it's like a magnet. Okay, it, it tells you which direction your motor is, but as you can see there, the swat lock's kicked in, so it's showing you that the motor's going this way. When you're driving it, when you're cruising around or around trees or just in general use, small turns, sometimes you won't see that arrow actually move until it, it moves a little bit further than it moves, just because the fact that it is... Oops, let's let it go. Just because it is on a on a magnet itself, so there's just that little bit of play. So it may not be exactly where it's pointing, but still, as you can see, it works very well anyway. With the Lorance Ghost, I've got it in 24 volt series, where you can have it in 36 if you'd like, but I've got it in 24 volt. I find it to be a lot. It has a lot more thrust, a lot more pulling power than the old motor that I used to have prior to trying this one out. Helps me a lot when it comes to bass electrics because I need that extra speed when I'm going going to go to that further spot and there's a fair few people wanting to go to a similar area. Having that extra speed helps by getting out in, out in front of everyone, being brushless. I found that it's been way more energy efficient as well. So with all them in parcel with each other, it just makes it a really good motor for the stuff that I, I use it for. As I've noticed, as the foot pedal is very responsive as well, so is the remote. 
The remote's quite responsive too. As you can see in the top of the motor here, you look at the arrow and it turns quite quickly. Okay. Now, if you're on course lock, those turns are not going to be that quick. But if it's just on continuous propulsion, you will be able to turn it that fast just as you can with your foot pedal. Foot pedal is a little bit quicker, but with the remote, it's quick as well. But like I said, if it's on course lock, those turns will be a lot less because obviously you're under a lot of power, you're going in a direction you want to, and you're only needing to fine tune it to tweak around certain things if there's obstacles in your way, whether it's trees or you know whatever it is. So this is the hand remote itself. Okay, you've got your your speeds up and down, you're turning left and right. You click it once to get a constant propulsion of your motor. If you hold it down, it does your spot lock. Nice, easy, handy little little thing to do. It is an extra with uh, Lawrence Ghost as normally cable steer motors don't have hand remotes so that's why it's an extra I guess that they've come up with the idea that yep because it is a cable steer not a lot of people are used to with remotes so they don't sell them with a remote so these are an extra handy thing to use um, if you want to drive it from the back of the boat away from a sound or the foot pedal it's handy to have it I use it in the Bass Electrics a lot just as, like at the beginning but take off just in case I'm not near the foot pedal or my sounder screen and I can just tweak it with the turns and it doesn't affect the function that I'm doing. So when it's on course lock, if I was to adjust the steering with the foot pedal, it would cancel it out, the action that I'm doing. But with the hand remote, it won't. It will just turn as I want and if I go back to the screen, I can turn off the screen as well and it won't cancel what you're trying to do. But as soon as you hit that foot pedal, that's it, you'll cut out that function that you're trying to do. So just another handy little thing you can have with the Ghost. Just another cool feature that Lorance has on their Ghost. And it is where the cable clips on, hooks onto there. So as you're going to pull it into the water, your rope grabs it, you lift it up. Okay, when it hits the water, you have the ability to lower it slowly if you want. Then it clicks into place. When you pull it out, obviously the motor fixes itself up. But then there's the gas strut. The gas strut here stops your motor from smashing on your deck. It just lowers nice and easy. So as we go again, get the rope, put it on the hook, lift it up. Okay, now I'm going to lower it nice and slowly. Bang. So just that little hook that's on that motor... Something so simple, but yet so handy and easy to use. So, yep, back again. Electric motor fixes itself up. Gas strut stops it from slamming down. And you just click it into place where it locks. It comes with this leg. The stability leg there. Keeps it nice and firm. Stops from bouncing, crashing around. So, the breakaway spring. So, when you're driving your motor and you hit something... You don't snap your shaft, it just flexes and works, it flexes and bounces its, its way around the object itself. So it stops you having to replace shafts when you snap them when you drive into something, whether it's a stump or a rock or anything like that. So the experience I've had with the Lawrence Ghost has been awesome. I've had lots of fun with it. I've had it networked to my sounder. I've played around with functions and stuff like that on the sounder, setting waypoints from the sounder, using the keypad on the actual pedal for marking waypoints. Um, I've sent it on paths. I've done all these things with it and found it reasonably easy to do. So as a review on the on the Lorance Ghost, I'd have to say it is, it's user-friendly. I've never had this type of setup where I've had my... A motor hooked to my sounders before and I found it quite interesting and fun to use some features you probably wouldn't use other features you will definitely use other features you'll find that you would never have thought to use but yet it'll help you with your fishing or guiding yourself around so I've had lots of fun with the ghost I recommend it most definitely it's lots of fun it's strong it looks cool that was the first one of the first things I looked at and went gee that looks pretty cool when it's on the boat it looks great I thought it might be a bit bulky, but no, it looks great on the boat from a visual point of things. 
like I said, it, it's strong, it feels strong. Um, the foot pedal is really good. Um, and the networking it to the sounder makes it he heaps easy to use as well. So I'd like to thank Fishing Monthly for the opportunity to review this for the guys from Navico and Lawrence Australia. So big thumbs up for me. I love this product. It's great. Get on it, use it, have fun with it, and I'll see you on the water.